Oh my gosh, you guys, these are all the donate bags from the major closet clean out that I just did when I read Marie Kondo's book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, and started the Conmarie process. I'm gonna show you all the before and afters and tell you a little bit about what the process was like for me emotionally letting go of some things. But if you missed last week's video where I started cleaning everything out, you gotta go check it out. Here's what happened. This gives me so, so much anxiety taking all these clothes out. I look at this pile and I already like mentally I'm like gone, 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 gone. She Wait. Has so many holes in it. Because when we first started dating, you had these Abercrombie and Fitch boxers that said in love on the butt. But I'm okay with letting them go now. Before I was not okay with letting that Ooh. stuff go. Here's the remaining clothes. And this actually still seems like a lot. I mean, honestly, considering that this whole entire floor was covered with clothes. Man, I had so many clothes. And I saw from a lot of the comments, several of y'all think I still have a lot of clothes, which I probably do have a little more than I should still. But I finally went through all the t-shirts, got them folded and put away. So I'm really excited to show y'all some before and after pictures. All right, the armoire. So this side was piled up with things. And now there's just a measly little row of sweatshirts. I want to get maybe a couple drawers or something. I have a sweatshirt thing. I know I probably don't need so many, but when it finally gets cold here, I'm like, please let me wear all the sweatshirts. And I've literally worn every single one of these over the past week. So love my sweatshirts. I've got shorts. This is definitely more than I'm going to end up keeping. These are like four sizes bigger than these. So I don't know when it comes to be short season, what size I'm going to be. So for right now, I just left the ones that spark joy in both sets of sizes. These are swimsuits and cover-ups. And again, these are a range of sizes. So I probably won't keep all of these once it comes swimsuit season again. But for now, I'm just putting them here because I have no idea. In here, we have workout pants. I have no excuse other than the fact that I work from home and athletic wear is basically what I wear a good bit of the time. I have long leggings here and then like capri leggings here. This drawer is pretty packed and it needs to probably be a little bit less. Also shorts again, work from home, summer, I'm in shorts a lot. Um, like workout style shorts. This is a little bit looser, so there's not as quite as many. Most of these right here are larger sizes that hopefully won't fit when it comes to be summertime. Maybe I can take those out, but for now I'm gonna leave them because I have no idea what the status will be. Um, these are all like <laughs> workout tank tops that I bought a few years ago. And because I do plan to keep working out, I do wanna keep those. And gasp, an empty drawer, OMG. However, this, this is not what it should look like. But as of right now, this is the best way to do it. So I have short sleeve t-shirts that I'm not wearing right now because it's winter on the bottom because I'm not going to need to get to them. And then the top, these are my long sleeve t-shirts. Um, I wear t-shirts a lot and I really like t-shirts. So these are all ones that I have recently worn or that spark joy. All right, the dresser. The top three drawers are like random miscellaneous junk drawers that we're not to yet in the process. As of right now, these are all sweatshirts. Now this right here is a situation of when I would find something that I really liked how it fit when I was way larger than I wanted to be and I felt like it covered me well and everything else, I would buy multiple in the same color. So um, I may end up going ahead and donating one or two of the colors, or these may not even fit soon, who knows. Down here is my two big drawer that I talked about before. And actually what I'm probably gonna do is take all these out and put them in a bin so that my two big stuff is not just like clouding my judgment on everything else. This is my shirt drawer. I showed y'all this the other day. I do feel like it's a little bit full also, but these are all long sleeve and these are all short sleeve. Just like everything else, some of these are larger sizes that I may end up getting rid of. And y'all just wait for it. This is my Alabama t-shirt drawer because you know what? Alabama football is kind of like joy sparking always. And the closet. Are y'all ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Such a major change. I do still have a bunch of jewelry right here. That's going to be dealt with when I get to the other miscellaneous stuff. Got my laundry basket. 
Down here I have my pants, different sizes. Those are all big things that I think I'm going to move to a different closet, a whole different closet. Leave them hanging up, move them to a different closet so that it doesn't like cluster my space. Up here I have some vests and then it transitions to like lightweight little coats that you might wear as an outfit. Um, sweaters that are sleeveless and then like sweaters to go over things um, that just kind of open up like what do people call these cardigans or something um, and I do have them in a few different colors but I wear them all and they spark joy and there's like thicker ones for winter and then a couple thinner ones I in case you can't tell kind of have a problem with my arms I never have liked my arms so anytime I wear something sleeveless or really short sleeved I like to wear something over it. I have my scarves. And then this is summer stuff. So I have tank tops and capri pants, a jean skirt, and then some more of these little cardigans. The shoe rack. This probably still seems like a lot of shoes to y'all, but I really like my shoes. Over here, I've got big bulky robes in the back and then dresses right here. This is the dress if you're on my live stream that for whatever reason, I just couldn't get rid of. I wore it when I was pregnant with Brooks and it's not necessarily a maternity dress. So I could possibly wear it again, but I just don't know. I, it sparked some joy for me, even if I don't wear it. So I wanted to keep it. A few sleeveless long dresses, basic like black dress, dressy dress. And then these are like short sleeved summer things. So overall, I feel like this looks like a whole lot of clothes right here. And it probably is for some of y'all. But these are all short sleeve things. Um, then these are like medium in between, not thick, but long sleeve, three quarter length sleeves. And then these are all like hoodie, sweatshirty, thick, sweatery materials. I actually put on this this morning and took it back off. It did not spark joy because it has gotten too big and it just looked funny. So I'm going to probably take this out and possibly these too. So Again, weeding out some things as my weight changes. Boots. I've got regular rain boots, dressy rain boots, and snow boots. It doesn't snow here very often. That's why they're up in the very far back. But when it does, I do need those. I've got like some casual boots with the fur in black and brown. Some dressy boots in like a brownish gray and black. And then cowboy girl-ish leather and brown leather. I like to have shoe options. And this is the donate pile. Holy moly that is 10 and a half kitchen sized garbage bags 33 gallon bags of clothing items and shoes to donate Woohoo! it feels so good to have it all done and i'm gonna run these to the donation place as soon as i can so i wanted to talk really quickly just a little bit about what i've learned and how i felt through this process it was definitely an emotional process more emotional than i thought it would be not letting go of the clothes i know a lot of people have said i'm not sure if i could do this because i'm a very sentimental person and i hold on to things and things mean stuff to me but that's the way I felt and the book helped me through all of that so much I was almost afraid to read it because I didn't want to be talked into getting rid of stuff and feel guilt about getting rid of stuff but actually the guilt that I felt going through the process and towards the end even now is related to guilt of keeping too many things because now that I've cleared things out and I have more space, I have less things and I have only the things that I feel like spark joy, that I love, that I would pick up and wear right now if I wanted to. I feel so much happier looking into my closet. I feel so much less stress and chaos. It's really strange how clearing your physical space clears your mental space so much too. Our brains are already working so hard on so many different things throughout the day, especially when you have young kids and you're trying to get ready, you're trying to pick out what you wanna wear, you've got kids running here and there asking you a million questions and you walk in your closet and you're like, I don't have a clue what fits and what doesn't fit and what I wanna wear and what I don't. I've never really understood the importance of having only things that you intend to wear or love and knowing that I could pick anything from my closet and wear it right now is just an amazing feeling. It's been about a week since I've really had my closet put back together and even during that week, I've tried to make a count in my head of the things that I'll reach for and be like, oh, I don't know, I don't really want to wear that. And then question, does it spark joy? Did I hold on to it for another reason that I should have? touch it, feel it, decide if I really want to keep it. And there have been several things I've said, you know what, I really, now that I think about it, this needs to go too. I cannot wait to go through this whole process with our entire house and get to the point where everything in our house, I look at and think it's here 
because it sparks joy and it has an intentional purpose and adds value to my life. Removing all the clutter, all the unnecessary things, all the things that I've held on to because I've been afraid to let go of for some reason. I think especially with the kids, we get overwhelmed with cleaning up the messes and the toys and things because we look at things and we think this has never been played with or with clothes, it's never been worn and it's still hanging in my closet. It's basically staring at me going, wear me, why am I in your closet if you're not gonna wear me and the guilt of I spent money on it and I'm not wearing it or that somebody's given it to me and I don't enjoy it or I don't want to wear it but I feel like I should keep it because somebody gave it to me. Something that I became aware of after listening to the book is that once something is given to you it's no longer for the gift giver it's for you it's in your possession and if they have a problem with the fact that you're not using it or you don't like it or you don't want it anymore because it didn't work for you then that's really not your problem. Maybe that's something that they need to address. But you honestly just have to make the decisions based on who's living in your house, and that would be you and your significant other, your family, but not the person who gave it to you. So as I continue going through my days and my weeks, I'm gonna daily be looking through my wardrobe, deciding what can stay and what needs to go. I know there's a lot of people who have said that you should never keep clothes in sizes that are too big because that like allows you to gain weight again. Well, in my case, I want to say I definitely don't ever plan to be back to the way that I was, but I'm not 100% sure that I'm never going to have another child. And going through pregnancy and birth and post-birth and all of those things, it's just unpredictable right now. We're pretty sure we're not going to have any more kids, but not 100% sure. I think I'm going to move the things that are too big into a whole separate closet in a different room, reassess in, you know, a year. Removing the clothes that are too big does take away a little bit of that emotional piece of looking at those clothes and remembering how much I didn't like myself in those clothes, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do with those, and I feel okay about that. As with anything, you basically kind of have to customize a process to yourself. If you're okay with it, if it's something that you feel comfortable with, go with it. I am so excited to bring y'all on the rest of this journey of conmarieing my whole house. We've already cleared out so much stuff from the playroom. If you haven't seen that vlog, you can go check it out right here. We didn't go through the whole Conmarie process, but it was so overwhelming that I just had to get some things out. So they're temporarily out and it has been amazing to see the transformation in our kids. I'm definitely gonna make a video on what we've done there and how that has completely changed things around. I'd love to read your comments below on whether you've been through this process, whether you've started the process since you watched my last video. I've been really excited seeing all the tweets and Instagram messages and all that from all of you guys saying how you've really been excited to get started and what all you've accomplished. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to follow along on this journey. This journey of my life right now is insane and things are like completely 180 from where they were this time last year. So thank you guys so much for all the support and love always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!